Hello! In this video, I'll talk a bit about URLs and how to properly insert something into one, okay? So, let's say you have a URL, you have your domain name, and then you have uh, query parameters, okay? You have those parameters, and then you want to put in another string value in that parameter. But what you need to do first, in most cases, you need to actually encode it or escape the string. Basically, you need to encode those characters that would affect the actual URL. Say, for example, here we have a URL on its own, right? And this one, this particular URL is actually used somewhere in a real world application, in a real world code. Basically, it's in the URL and it's a sort of a callback uh, URL kind of thing. Okay, now if I need to insert that into another URL, I need to encode, encode some characters, mainly these characters, okay, because they do interfere with any other URL, right? The main URL in which this string would be a parameter. We do not want it to interfere, right? This is quite obvious. We have these. They are in your row. So we need to escape them or encode them as I prefer to call it. But we are using something called escape data string. And there are several different options, but I find that this one works best, okay? This one works best. And again, you don't always have to do it. If, say, you have a GUID from SQL Server, you probably won't need to do that uh, encoding uh, because there are no characters that would affect the URL. But if you do have that, you'll need to do some bit of encoding. That's uh, quite important, okay? And you have to encode the specific value that you provide. You don't do it on the whole URL string. You just do it on this specific parameter. And that's it. Okay, so let's see. We have encoded right here, string. And then we have escape data string. It comes from URI. URI. System.URI. Escape data string. Okay. Then another one is unescape data string. So this one decodes, okay? This one decodes all those characters and returns you uh, that original one. Usually you don't need to deal with the decoding because it will go to the server and the server then uh, .NET Core API, presumably, uh, that will decode on its own. Now, there might be some API arrangements with some weird, strange languages which will not do the decoding. So that's uh, another story. But in C-sharp, usually you don't need to unescape them, you just need to escape them. And that's quite important. Uh, uh, there are many, many problems that may arise if you do not escape them. And they might also be quite difficult to troubleshoot. It's not like you can get an exception or a clear error on what went wrong. Usually you will just get a bad address or that kind of thing. So in any case, let's run it, let's launch it, okay? And we have a breakpoint right here. And we have, uh, you see, this one is encoded. See, we have this, uh, these weird characters. Uh, these weird characters represent basically each uh, one of these uh, naughty characters that would destroy the URL, right? So very, very simple. It changes, and then in the decoding, it changes it all back. You can see it's all uh, normal and proper URL. Now, if you want to learn a bit more about uh, uh, .NET Core API development specifically, you can watch my course. It's a great course. It will go from basics to something a bit more advanced, uh, but nothing too fancy and it won't uh, take too much time. So do take a look at that. Also, if you want to learn how to use Postman properly, uh, for testing your APIs, you can take a look at my course as well. Do also take a look at the Patreon page. Uh, you'll find some great deals on courses, on my courses, uh, when you support this channel. And subscribe to this channel. 